how to make your mixes more tight. Hmm. Welcome to another day in the studio. I rearranged a lot of here in my gear. It's boring. I didn't want to share that with you. But there is one guy right here, Mr. Springy. He's left out. Like all of his friends have a spot right here. But Mr. Springy is kind of alone. If anyone knows what I should do with Mr. Springy, I'll just leave him here. He can watch me making music. And I have to inform you, it almost breaks my heart, but today I don't have any new gear to unbox. I, I tried for two weeks to have every day something nice to showcase to you and something nice for me to play around with, but today, unfortunately, not. But there's still a box. It is very light. It is by Jan. He is from Norway. I don't know what's inside, but it says a gift. Yeah, you know what? Since it's a gift, I want to show some respect. Just wanted to thank you for your daily vlogs. Thanks to you for this nice present. I've learned much about music production. That's good. <laughs> Here's a little funny gift. I highly appreciate it. Like that's that's amazing. It wobbles a little. Maybe it makes me listen to music in a better way. Maybe it makes it stronger so I can hear more, produce better. That's really nice. I appreciate it. Um, I don't know if it was worth it sending it over here because like probably the shipping was more expensive than the hat But thanks it will find a nice place right here in the studio. Let's see what the rest of the team thinks about my new hat <laughs> That's what was inside the box. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. That, that was absolutely worth Yeah, the shipping. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wear it today that's cool. Anyway, so it's Monday. It's a busy day. Done mixing and mastering for someone else. If you're interested to get your songs mixed and mastered, especially now that I hear even more, just like first link in the description, just hit us up. And I think it's time for a good old classic Q&A today. I have to be honest, I wasted a lot of time today with the equipment and I, I have to finish or not finish, but at least get two songs to a certain point to send them out to a big label. They're interested in those songs. And I really need to nail that because that might be the next big thing for me. So yeah, life is getting in the way of vlogging. First question, do you have enough gear? No, never, never ever. Even if I would own Toman and the music store and every piece of vintage gear, it would be probably still something I need. Ever heard of the Vector Synth? No, that thing is crazy. You gotta look it up. Please, no, don't suggest me more gear. Have you ever used any other DAW than Logic? Yes, I've used Reason at the very beginning. It was my first, yeah, it was my first DAW I ever owned. I mean, I didn't own it. I illegally downloaded the demo version and cracked it kind of like back in the days, like didn't have any money. And I then pretty fast, I switched to Logic and ever since stayed, I think Logic 6 or 7 was my first version. Do you use Melodyne? Yes, if necessary. Do you recommend any other programs to pitch vocals? Usually the built-in ones by the DAWs are fantastic. What about EQing your speakers? Yes, you should. If you can, on the back usually you can tweak the speaker. I have it here on the front. The speaker right here has like a bass cut of 5 dB and a high, high frequency cut of minus one dB just to make it work better in the room. You just measure with your measurement mic and then dial in the settings to get as close as possible to having flat frequency response. So with the cueing of the speaker, you can help a little, a little, just a little. Will you ever retire? <laughs> no. What is better, an untreated room or mixing with headphones. Hmm. It really depends on how bad your room is. Every room is different. If it's really, really, really bad, then maybe the headphones. I would still prefer mixing on speakers and just getting used to the problems the room has. So um, yeah, totally up to the situation and your preference. Tips for finding your own sound. Finding your own sound just don't worry too much about it. Just make music, just get inspired by other people, combine the things you like, and you'll end up with your own sound eventually. Which plugins have you removed in the past week or decided not to use at all? 
Uh, funny, I don't know how he or she knows that, but I actually, maybe I talked about it. I, I deleted a lot of stuff that I just don't use. I felt overwhelmed with plugins. Like a lot of companies sent me plugins for free and then I'm like, yeah, let's try them. And then I don't use them. So um, yeah, I got rid of, I'd say like 40 to 50% of my plugins. So maybe I'll do a video very like in a week or two showcasing you the ones that stayed and why they stayed. Will you ever tell what's inside the secret room? Maybe. Like the latest, when I have to leave the studio, I'll show it to you. How much will the John Sign Masterclass cost? Yeah, I'm doing right now, or I actually filmed already the first two hours of me making the new song with Salvo called Bad Dreams. I filmed it like without a pause in between, so it's me producing kind of live without cutting or editing. So you get a really deep insight into my working process and it will be soon out on Fader Pro, probably a month, two or three. How much it will cost, I don't know. They handle all of this kind of stuff. I only know how much I get, how much I get, like how, the cut that I get, but I'll talk to them and, and try to make it as low as possible and also maybe have like a special deal for you guys. Let's see. Make a video on mastering. I did plenty of times. Like maybe I'll do an update video in half a year when I actually change my master chain, but it's, it's overrated. It's not so important. Just have a limiter there and that's it. Did you ever try to make dubstep? No, I, I like the music for its technical part. I hate it for its musical part. So I won't get involved into dubstep anytime soon. How to make your mixes more tight? Hmm. I honestly, I'm nothing against the question, I understand it, but in general, like I hate when people talk about sound being tight or like fat, round, silky, smooth, like these kind of things that try to describe something, it usually leads into like this voodoo region of audio, like which cable sounds better, which kind of, I don't know, compressor sounds better. It doesn't matter that much, to be honest. So how to make the mix tighter? It's a very complex question because it's about, first of all, sample selection and then how you edit those samples and, and how you tweak those sounds, the synthesizer sounds, EQing. Compression doesn't play a huge role. I would even argue that EQing also doesn't play such a huge role. It's more about what sound do you combine with what kind of sound. So usually if, if a, a beginner song sucks, it's because they have too many elements in there that are impossible to mix or they have too little elements to make it a full track or even worse they have in certain frequencies too many elements usually the low end and in other spots too little which makes a very unbalanced mix for example a beginner might have the fattest kick he could find and the fattest bass he could find and then has a tiny mid-range to top end and the song sounds very unbalanced. So getting a tight mix is about having the right elements and the right amount in the song. Then you don't need that much cueing and balancing and mastering and all that bullshit. You just pick the right elements. You just pick a nice kick, a nice bass, a nice main synthesizer or vocals, some additional background stuff to make it interesting, some hats here and there to have some movement in there and that's it. It's very simple. I know it sounds too simple to be true and I thought when I started out it has to be complicated and yes sometimes it needs to be complicated in the details but in general the amount of elements and the role each element plays is very basic. I think I already told you that in another video like the band principle have something that plays the very low usually the kick then the bass maybe a top bass maybe some low chords then maybe a vocal, a main synthesizer or a guitar. If you have both, then make them like, have them in the arrangement, not play at the same time. And then again, for the top end, some pads, some hi-hats, that kind of stuff. Simple. If you do more than that, you'll never be able to make it tight. If you could relive any year of your life, which would it be? Ooh, hmm. I have to say, since I shape my own life and I always give 100% to make it better, I would always answer the most recent year, except for 
for getting older and closer to death i always like the 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 most recent year the best which is great to say because that means life is going up um but COVID is annoying so so let me like change it to the past year without COVID. how you manage all the writers and publishing rights um usually you just split it among the people that are part of the session if it's a top line that is ready you usually get a lot less so it's just negotiating back and forth with the other people involved and then uh, for example today leonard is taking care of registering all of my songs with the royalty collecting company here in germany and they're idiots so uh it's taking already a couple of hours why don't you come down to dubai and do shows here Lots of artists have been performing here lately. Whew. No way. Never. I mean, Dubai is probably a fantastic country and I would love to visit it. But in certain areas, they just... Let's, let's keep it friendly. They, they just lack certain rights. I don't appreciate that. And just very recently, a friend of mine got treated in the most unfair brutal way i could imagine without any reason so no i'm not going there like covid no plus that no i might actually uh, i will ask him if i'm allowed to share his story i think people need to be aware of it it's like i would be so pissed and mad for the next 10 years because of what happened to him anyways let's Let's do one more. Oh, that one is easy. Favorite reverb plugin, Valhalla Vintage Verb for like all general purpose reverb kind of stuff. For the more effect weird kind of stuff, I'll let you know soon because I'm buying actually something that is gear kind of and does reverbs in, in a twisted way. I'll share it soon once it arrives. Anyways, that's it with music production for today. Next up. Hello. Hello. I got it as a present. Someone sent it to me. All right. I mean, I highly appreciate it. Looks funny. <laughs> but I was like, hopefully, hopefully, snacks. But Last no snacks? time, no snacks. I had no. snacks. Oh, perfect. Which one you you got? Yeah, the this bigger one. one. Yep. <laughs> Best girlfriend ever. And today is Women World. What what was it? World, Women World Woman. Day. Yeah. Huh. So you got me something? I don't know. Is well, it I'm getting you something. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> to, that's to prove it's Women's World Day. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember that one time we got Nutella? Mm-hmm. I you was got Nutella. I was expecting Nutella, but it was creepy. Someone sent it to our home, and that address is not public. But if you want to send me something, <laughs> please go ahead. Yeah. Mm. Gear and snacks always appreciated, and funny stuff as well address is in the description